And so uh, just use your first name, no last names. Tell me uh, who you are, where you're from, what you guys are doing, all that good stuff. I'm Whoever Nathan. Wants to start. Okay. And I'm Vine. Awesome. We're from, uh, we're actually, it doesn't say on the front, but we're from Horatio. Uh, okay, we're, Horatio. Uh, we're our first year, uh, this is our rookie year, as Texas High called it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're our first year FTC uh, uh, competitor, or which stands for first tech competition. Okay. But uh, we, uh, like I said, this is our first year, it's kind of fun. What else, what else was it you wanted to know? Uh, that, that's a good start. Just roll it. Just where you guys are from and what you're doing. And, okay. Um, so this is your first year as a school doing this. Have, have either of you like messed around with robotics before this? Um, no, no. I have a little bit, but nothing on like this level. Okay. I played around with coding before, and we played around with a. We have we have in the past played a, around a little bit, like last year with the Mindstorm robots, the, oh, little, sure. the little Lego ones. Right, right. But uh, this is actually our first year actually doing anything yeah. competitive. Yeah. That's yeah, I say it's a pleasure to be out here today. But uh, honestly, um, um, nice campus out here to see you. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> so, um, in terms of in terms of uh, putting your robots together, talk about. Talk about some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. So, like, for example, I mean, talk about programming. So, what what the, what language are you guys using? What what platform are you using for your robot? Um, it's programmed in Java. Okay. The script. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's Java. Right. I was trying to remember what it was. I could not remember, but uh, <laughs> that's all right. It's cool. The thing about programming is that only one of us, only one of our fellow students, actually knows anything about programming. Really, okay. really. I mean, like I said before, I've dabbled a little bit with it, but I'm sure. never not on this level. Yeah. So, in terms of, of working together, I mean, you, you guys have a team here, yeah. right? So, yeah. in terms of, of working together as a team, um, what are some of the things that, like, what, what are some of the things that you've done specifically to this particular uh, project? Well, uh, personally. I went back and uh, looked through the instructions and actually had to fix and like put several parts onto the robot that the instructions didn't quite specify. Because all the instructions did was give us a picture and just tell us this is how it's supposed to look. Yeah. It, this is what it takes to do that. It didn't even actually like write out where we were supposed to put things. It was literally just like a screw hovering above this part. Uh, yes. Something like that. And it was like. The printer that had printed it out at the time must have been running out of ink because it wasn't even black and white. It was more of a dull gray and white. Yeah, yeah. You can imagine at first not having some of those pieces that, you know, held it together. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of pieces fall off. And <laughs> well, several, and I'm sure you had pieces extra going, I don't know where these go. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. There were several times we had to go, uh, we actually had to go on into the, uh, like, uh, I guess, into the area where the robot is used and actually have to go get some of the screws or... Right. Bolts, because they're yeah. off. And even then, our our robot—it's called a—I think it's called a push bot. I can't remember what model it is, but okay. it, 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 the style of it or the template of it, and it's called a push bot. Okay. Was it made for the competition we competed in this ah. year? So it's a little outdated, and um, uh, so we had to even after we finished building it, we had to make a few improvements. Sure, to, sure. Like. For example, part of it, we have to push a button to activate a beacon. Well, uh, our surface, where, uh, where our hand went, oh. kept brushing off of it. So oh. we, I think it was actually him who had the idea to put an eraser on the end of it. Hey, you know. Yeah, we kind of, we uh, took a, to, uh, we, had, we took like two of those, you know, smaller, uh, like uh, pink racers you typically find in school. Yeah. Took some screws and like went right in there for them. Yeah. Worked yeah. like a charm to uh, create a good surface area to be able to hit those yeah. buttons real good. That's whenever really our claw, cool. Whenever our claw closes, it forms like a, an area that doesn't, and of course it being, what's the word I use? I don't even think it was an actual word. Frictitious? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what the word to use. For, that's okay. But, you make uh, one up. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> But it's, it, it being as frictitious, it doesn't just slide right off the button because it's not as simply as just pushing the button. Right. It actually has to have a little bit of force behind it. But, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, 
And so you guys actually participated in a competition? Oh, yeah. We... Um, so, and where, where was that? Uh, the first one we had was in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Wow. Um, yeah. yeah. A bit of background story. Wow. We missed the Arkansas registration. Okay. Just to, to, like, sign up for it. Sure. So we had to go to Oklahoma. We were a little worried about... Uh, you know, an Arkansas team in Oklahoma, we'd stand out. Well, at the second competition we went to, we ran into Oklahoma's last year's state champions, and they were from, uh, uh, what was it, Springfield, Arkansas? Yeah. And <laughs> I get caught myself right a little bit. I'm like, huh. Oh, well, so much for that, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a little frustrating at times putting it together. Sure. Yeah. Because of, uh, uh, like I said, a little miscommunication with the instructions. Yeah. It being a little outdated affected us with the programming. Sure. We, there should there was supposed to be like a programming te- template in there, but oh. we but it being outdated for some reason we did not have the template, so right. we actually had to have a guy at one of our competitions actually go through and put in the template. Wow. Man. We're not spell oh. we're not spell it. And yeah, then, uh, very cool. We placed a uh, ten. I think we placed tenth out of like fourteen people, okay. which and was our, really good for our first, first time, time ever doing it. First competition. Yeah, exactly. I mean, prior to that competition, our robot didn't even work. Like we couldn't. <laughs> yeah, when we got we had there. no way of actually practicing at all with oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Did not move. So when you go to these competitions, <laughs> do you already know ahead of time what the like what the goal is or what the parameters are, or how uh, does that work? Typically, with the first competitions, they're usually about the same. Uh, general concept. I mean, they're exactly the same, <laughs> but okay. from what the ones we saw. Okay. We had this. The, our, the first tech competition this year was called Velocity Vortex. Okay. Uh, it's a. Uh, there are two vortexes in the center. One red, one blue. Okay. One for each alliance or team. Okay. Uh, the uh, the goal was to. Uh, there are there are also in, in the separate corners are a red corner and a blue corner that goes up into a ramp. Okay. Well, uh, the main way to score, the most common way to score, was this little ball called a particle. It looks like a wiffle. Okay. Yeah. Just it's either color red or blue. All right. Depending on the team. Go- yeah. Your okay. goal is to put it into uh, either the corner or into the uh, into the corner for one point or into the vortex for. Uh, Five points. Apiece. Okay. Okay. So, which the vortex is like these uh these little these baskets in like the in the middle of the arena that, that are uh, raised up. Yeah. Okay. So so you had to be able to shoot the ball. Yes. I mean like basketball style really, or yeah, right? I guess probably more like catapult than basketball, but still. <laughs> yeah. But catapult the ball into your into the correct vortex. Or, or, or see, we, us being the first year, we didn't have a. Uh, we didn't have any projectile mechanism, if you will. Oh, okay, okay. So we had to stick to the corner. Well, thankfully, there's another way to score, another main way to score in the main round, and that is uh, that is the beacons I mentioned earlier. Okay. Thankfully, we were, we're actually pretty decent with beacons because uh, when you're only scoring one point at a time and the other team is scoring yeah, five right. at a time, yeah. Yeah, a little, little hard to catch up. Beacon, but beacon total doesn't come in until the end of the round. At the end of the round, uh, for every beacon your your alliance has, because it's not one on one either, it's two on two. Okay. So you do have another guy having your back in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, somebody more experienced than you. <laughs> but uh, now, somebody on, on on a different team or somebody on your team? Somebody on a different team. Oh, no, so, you're, so you're paired up with different yeah. teams. Yes. Oh, okay. And it's random. Well, that's cool. Yeah. It's completely randomized. Okay. Real yeah, I, I don't know how that all works. So yeah. yeah. Like, uh, real fun to get to work with people you barely even know. Yeah. You know, yeah. You get to you know develop that like you know trust. There. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. Like, exactly. You can get this. I got this. We're good. Right. And yeah. You'd expect, that's very like, cool. especially an outsider, you'd expect coming into something like this, it'd be kind of a competitive. Right. Added, right. Added to, a, atmosphere. It kind right. of, you know, right. this guy's going to be my enemy. Right. It wasn't like right. that. No. I mean, we've met teams that have been doing this for like 10 years. It didn't show us any different whether it's our first competition or our last. Now it could be oh, bigger. You're a new guy? Here, I can, here, let me help you out. Let me give you a couple of tips. Let me. Yeah. 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 
the first competition we went to, we were like, where our booth was, was like perfect, because we were right there with a couple rookies that were in the same boat as us that was willing to help us, and then we were right there by a veteran group of people, a veteran group, if you will, uh, that didn't have one team, they had two teams, wow. and a 3D printer right there. Yeah. They Holy actually, cow. Yeah, those guys were prepared. Wow. And they were, uh, they were over there trying to help us out with our programming a lot, yeah. and uh, they even... Uh, it didn't work, but uh, it didn't fit. But uh, they had made an extra case for their phone, so they gave they gave it to us. <laughs> well, that's cool. But uh, we had one team. Uh, we have these we have these name plates on the side of ours. We have uh-huh. these metal plates. We originally just had a purple, a uh, um, purple paper. Uh-huh. Can't speak today. We originally just had a paper, uh, uh, a paper there, yeah. but that fell apart. But uh, we had this this metal. They made these metal plates with our number 12066 on it and sent it to us later on. Well, that's very cool. Uh, wow. Real nice, folks. So, yeah, it's, it's a very, mm-hmm. um, even though it is competitive, it's also yeah. very collaborative yeah. among the people who are competing. So that's very, very cool. It, I, I guess it looks like you guys are all breaking for lunch, maybe. So I, guess, I should probably let you get back what to time your, is it? I should probably let you get back to your group. But, uh, yeah. man, thank you guys but so I, much for hanging out. very nice to meet you. Very yeah. good to meet you. I appreciate it so too. much. But, uh, and, uh, yeah. We'll uh, talk at you later then. All right. Awesome.